Giddy up folks and get ready for another episode of Shining Force 2. We have this old fart with us and uh, he's gonna guide us to uh, Grand Silent. At least that's what it says. Anyway, I find it kinda strange that you fled Grant's by boat. Yeah, right now. Right just a year ago or something. And now you want to get back instantly. If you wanted to get back, couldn't you just by this time, by now, you could have built your own another ship, maybe? So it should be a problem. Or should it? I'm not sure. Anyway. It's my job. Row shall bow. Oh, those are truly a magic word. You go first. Uh, no, you go first. Ch didn't you hear me? Hey, hello, hello. I said you go first. You. I'm waiting. Jesus Christ, old people these days. This is the ancient hall that leads to the ancient tunnel. Okay. Oh. Ah. There are more monsters here. Prela, take him out. You, yeah, you're in no position of giving me orders. <sighs> anyway. So here we have the golem skin and this new guy, arrow launcher. Uh, attack 35, defense 24, which is identical to the golems. So, um, difference is this guy has a bit more HP and is a ranged attacker. And then we have gargoyles. Attack 38, defense 23. Yeah, and these guys are quite iconic for the game. I can say, I can tell you that at first, when I was younger, I thought his eyes were like you see those black dots uh, upon his head, and the his actual eyes, the red things, were his teeth. Makes him look way cuter, actually. I think, but anyway. Other than that, nothing special. We're going to mow through these guys and try to get you the chests and um, then go over here. And we'll see if the old man is of any use to us or no or not. Um So these guys fly as well, so you they will have quite an easy time reaching you. Sadly, I'm going to be a bit careful because if these guys are a bit of a step up uh, from what we've faced so far. And Luke, you can see there. I'm going to make sure to take each one of them out uh, before continuing continuing along because I don't want to get hit in the back it would be quite horrible for me if, if they were to gang up, gang up on me um, Brayla can stay there try to use the land effect again Squirtle turtle, you can actually do you this guy will actually do about two damage to Squirtle. Which is a bummer. Yep. Let's go about with it. And not gonna use Sarah immediately here. I will have time to use all her MP before the battle ends. It's quite a drawn-out battle. 
So I'm going to conserve her MP for a while. Question is where do I put her? Yeah, I think it's fine there. She needs to stand somewhere where she can reach a lot of people. And let's burn this guy. Burn him, I tell you. Good job, Cassin. Good job indeed. And I could go for that golem over there, but I'd much rather like it if he came to us. Yeah, so all of these guys will have later incarnations. All of the enemies around here. Oh, can I equip him with his good one? Um, and this is the first incarnation of all of them. Ooh, sweet. I might actually attack the arrow launcher. Because Peter is one of the few who can reach it. While the golem can be reached by almost anyone. Uh, yeah. Let's see, how high is his defense? 25, that's decent. And. I think he'll live if we put him here. Kinda risky, but I want to use him. And... Yeah, I'll go about it with Slade as well. Good. Good. And that is good for Slade, it uh, makes him not quite as likely to be lagging behind since he died early in the last battle. And that's the gargoyle. Um, but. <sighs> yeah, I'll kill the column instead. Because. Yeah, uh, my reasoning was that the gargoyle had already taken his turn, so uh, we have quite a bit of time before he gets to move again. And Sarah doesn't have anyone to heal right now, I don't think. So, and yeah, since she can't re reach Bra Brailler. Uh, trying to speak. Um, Good job, Sarah. Yeah, she's not much of an attacker at this point in the game. After promotion, though, mm -mm -mm. I'll show you then. I have a special treat for her. Ouch. Luckily, no other guys will be able to reach Brailler, I don't think. Would be the card bubble. Hope not. Hope we get to take a turn before that. Hmm. And... Yeah... Slightly afraid of the card bubble. Not afraid of the arrow launcher, so yeah. attack by two, defense by one. Sweet. So Peter is now the highest level character I got in this rebel, and let's kill the golem. The arrow launcher, we won't be able to reach Brailler, so we're we're out of it for now.
question is where do I put Braille when it gets to his turn? Uh, since I want him, want to put him in the vicinity of Sarah. Oh, there we go. Not too close to the arrow launcher, but now I think it resolved itself since the arrow launcher has taken its turn here. And yeah, actually, <laughs> you really can wait. You might think it's risky, but Geralt is actually further ahead than Brailler, so I'm gonna go for him. 15 XP is nice. And let's kill us an arrow launcher. Good job, Chester. Hmm. So, <coughs> next move. Can go right or left. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go to the middle and uh, see if any enemies are like coming to us first. Oh, let's just check. No, yeah, he's fine. So he can stay there. And there comes the mud guy. Column. And I don't want me in the front line, otherwise she can stay kind of close to where the action is. And trying to get us all nice and set up and stuff. Uh, yeah, I can put. Okay, I guess. And Luke, you can go there. It's kind of tricky in this game when you don't know uh, where the triggers are for the monsters. Like, uh, at what point uh, will they start moving towards you? How far? Should you have reached before then? So it's coming from all directions right now. Heal Brailer. Now that's also one of the reasons why I'm uh, hesitant right now because I want to buy some time to get to heal Brailer before engaging in another conflict. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna start attacking here, I think. I think Slade will be fine, where he is right now. Hope he will at least. And Squirtle, come on. He can't do shit against this golem. Oh, six damages. Alright. I guess... Uh... And there we go. No, May, you suck. Well, maybe you suck less now. No, she doesn't suck actually, and she will get better as things go on in this game. Um, you can see there. I'm moving my party to the left now, just to make sure that. Uh, the guys on the right can't reach them very easily because I don't want to face both this left punch and the right punch at once. One at a time, one at a time. And there we go. Come on, Chester, do your thing. Nice attack by two. That's quite unusual for Chester. I'm not complaining. And guess we'll have to wait for the gargoyle out there. Not sure if 
those guys on the stairs are gonna go for it. Gonna try to reach me or not. But, and there we go. Let's Sarah uh, heal Brailer one more time. Yeah, so Brailer is getting in the region of HP where it needs multiple heats to get to full defense. Blast level 2 is not bad actually, because it's. Um, what you call it? It's an area attack and can reach two steps. So it's quite an improvement over Blast level 1. <sighs> it's kind of risky to have those there, but not that risky. I don't think anyone can reach her. And Jaha, you can go there. I'm making small steps right now, as you may notice. Because I'm just waiting for the opponent, basically, to catch up. And uh, Peter at the ready, somewhere. There, maybe. And Luke there. And like I said in the beginning of this playthrough, I don't have a, 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 an extremely thought out strategy. I'm playing on the field sort of thing, so if I lack, if I lack an accuracy, that's well, fine. And that was exactly what I wanted to have happen. For the gargoyle to reach Squirtle, but no one else. And now we can take care of this guy at our leisure. And Slade gets the kill, which is perfect. Unless he blocks. Nope. Slade's the lowest level. Level 16, attack by 1 HP by 2 was quite important because he's kind of low on HP. And Sarah, do you have anything to do? You can actually go ahead and heal Squirtle. Because those two HP might matter a bit since the Master Mage's place level 2 can do between 8 and 10 damage. And if it does 8 damage, he will survive yeah, if he has 9 HP. Which he won't if he has 7. Maths, people. Just like my name. Or something. And yeah, I can see there. I'm trying to at this point lure the Master Mage down here to tussle with us. And she can heal I guess herself. So not sure if you see the importance of Sarah at this point since all she does is going about going around healing minor scratches but we do need her in this game and there we go the mass mages has made this move 